All right, we are back here at the B&H booth and we are talking to Gabriel Biederman. Thank you. Good to see you, Nick. Good to see you. So you just came off stage. Yep. You had a great performance over there. So what were you talking about? So uh, we're talking about, I was in the, the uh, Kelby One Peach Pit, uh, Peach Pit Publications booth and uh, talking about basically night photography, my book on night photography called Night Photography from Snapshots to Great Shots. It's been out since early 20, uh, 2014. Awesome. But I already went to their second printing. It's it's still selling like hotcakes. Love it, love <laughs> it. You're like the master on that now. You've been you've been doing this and crafting this for a while. How, yeah. how long have you been kind of building that up? And yeah. Getting... So I mean, I've been doing photography since uh, let's see, 1993. Okay. Um, but uh, and, so, and and soon into it, I was really exploring uh, time. What yeah. we can do with time during the day, and then soon into the night. Excellent, so. excellent. Um, so you got up on stage and you just said you sold all the books out. Yeah, I think they brought like 15 or 20 books and it was like a mad rush after the stage. I, I couldn't lead, I had to sign off all the books. So, you know, it, it, listen, we live in this in this day where night photography is easier to do than ever before. However, it still has a lot of challenges to it. Yeah, I agree. Um, a lot of challenges to it. but And so with a few simple tips, people can kind of not be afraid of the dark. Right? I, I agree. Now, um, you came, you're, you're actually leaving here and you're going to a workshop, right? I am. I am. We're, we're sort of right in the, the middle of the uh, Perseids meteor shower right now. And it's, I'm kind of itching to, you know, to go. But I had actually planned to do a workshop last year when Photoshop World was in September. Yep. So I planned this workshop. It's out in Wyoming, right under the Devil's Tower. You can't get and, any better uh, than that for dark skies. It, it, it can't get better. It's one of the darkest skies out there. And uh, it's with the Rocky Mountain School of Photography. And it was actually my first workshop to sell out this year. It sold out like that. So it was like... I love it. I love it. You know, so we'll do Milky Way, Perseids. We'll do some star trails, light awesome. painting. A lot of awesome. fun stuff. Now, what, uh, what camera are you using for this right now? So I have a... I'm a mirrorless guy, okay. Um, and I use I kind of go between two cameras. I have definitely the Sony A7S okay. camera. That's definitely one of the go-to ones, just because it can get to a bazillion ISO safely. <laughs> um, I, though I am really, I got my hands on at the show for the first time the A7R Mark II. Okay. And that is can go pretty high as well, uh, and you get better resolution. Yep, so yep. I'm very excited bigger, to bigger file. Exactly, bigger, bigger file. So stacking, not so you know. You get a huge file, but I'm looking forward to maybe incorporating that camera into it. But I also love the Fuji, the X-T1. Okay. Um, that's been a, a rock steady. The lenses are super sharp uh, and uh, are really good for star and night photography, long exposures. Awesome, awesome. So some ideas out there for people carrying big stuff, because a lot of times we'll hike out somewhere pretty far to go do this night photography stuff, yep, and you yep, want to yep, carry yep. big DSLRs and other things out there. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Definitely one person's going to walk through. Definitely. <laughs> And then they notice when they're over there. It's yeah, kind of exactly. funny all the time. They look horrified. It's we'll take great. That. Oh. <laughs> so, um, so cool. So you know, you can lighten up, get some great quality. The mirrorless thing is great. Um, are there any things that you had to overcome going from the SLRs to mirrorless? Well, you know, um, some of the Sony lenses they don't have uh, any sort of. Uh, focus markings on them okay. like, like you know you would with a window with autofocus lenses yeah. you'll have a window so you can see infinity um, or do hyper focusing so a lot of the Sony lenses don't do that so what I do is I use uh, Zeiss manual focus lenses um, or other like some I have some old Nikon lenses yep. so because one of the uh, again big uh, hurdle to overcome at night is focusing low contrast yep. we're trying to focus on infinity you know, and it's hard to do that with a lens that just spins and spins and spins. Exactly, because so. it just keeps going where you can, with uh, Zeiss, do they just stop at the end and it's infinity or no? Because the Canon, I know, doesn't. The, 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 uh, yeah, every almost every one of them goes past, and even the Zeiss goes a little bit past, so you want to bring it back. Bring it back. <clears throat> but at least you have the marking, and it also has hyper-focus markings on it, which is more important. Like, wow. I can put it on an aperture and know and gain a little bit more depth to it. So that's a, a really w one of the top reasons why I like those Zeiss lenses. Plus, they're Zeiss is nice. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're quality. They're quality. So if there's one tip that you can give out to there, give everyone out there, um, what's your like top tip for someone that's struggling with this stuff? Well, uh, there's a few tips, and I don't want to overcome people with math, you know, so <laughs> much. So, you know, uh, I got to you know, and, and this is a tip for anything. Is this is scout your location, yeah. right? Scout your location. Get there during the day. We don't want to fumble around in the dark, right? Yeah. So if you get there during the day, you can kind of what I always tell you know my students and my friends is like look around you. Whatever compositions work during the day, they'll probably work during at night. Work at night. During the night, exactly. exactly. So, and then you know, 
you stay there, you get there early, or you're still there, you know, and you get to see some sunset stuff, and then you're just kind of transitioning into the night. So you're not just going, getting out of your car and like walk around in the dark. Walk around in the dark, you know. Especially like, in the desert. I live in Arizona. Yeah. We're in Nevada. You're walking. Right. You there. want to watch out for those little critters, right? You have critters, a lot of cactus, little critters. You know? like, so you're, I want to be making a lot of noise in that area for a while for before a while. the sun goes down. <laughs> You know? Awesome, so, awesome. Well, have a great time at your workshop. You, Where can you. people find out more about you, the book, and everything sure, else? Sure, great. Uh, my my uh, website is Ruinism, R-U-I-N-I-S-M, ruinism.com. And that's I list the workshops and tips and stuff like that from there. Awesome, All right? awesome. Great to see you Thanks as always. So much, Thank you. Good times.